Hi, welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the sort of half season. We've gone a little bit beyond half season, but yeah. So just the middle of the season for uh, the Vanarama National League. We're currently in fifth, which is actually really, really good, considering that we were just hoping to maintain in this league. Um, we will probably go to the playoffs, but I'm not hope I'm not hoping that we will qualify. I think we'll still be in this league next season, but. We're in the playoffs, the playoffs are at the moment, and we'll try to get through them. Um, some highlights, obviously, uh, Esapa Song has been our um, top goal scorer because he's our main striker. Uh, he hasn't played the full season because we've we've had to rest him on and off. Um, but yeah, I think he's last time I checked, he was second place for most goals in the league. Let's see if that's still the case. Most goals? No, he's slid now. He's down to fourth. But they're all kind of tightly grouped together anyway. Yeah, so uh, quite glad that the Sapo song is doing quite well for us this season as well. Um, now let's take you through the changes we've made throughout the sort of winter transfer window. Even though there isn't really a transfer window as such for these sort of level of leagues. But I still tried to do the transfers around that time. I might still do a couple more just before the window closes for us. But so far, we have had a few changes. So if you see on the left-hand side, I've got the notes open. We've made uh, some changes starting from the fence. In the central position, the covering uh, in the covering role, we went and uh, swapped around James Leonard, who was... Uh, did we get him last season? I can't remember. Yeah, we got him... Oh, no, we got him this season, at the very beginning of the season. But we decided he wasn't gonna make it to the first team just yet but then I changed my mind I went and got him for the first team and I delegate relegated to the under 23s um oh he's not here where is he I thought I'd sold him already but obviously not hmm I can't find him Adrian Adrian Polia okay Oh, he's still with us. Okay, I thought I... Oh, yeah, he's going to he's going to be sold to some club I don't know in the Scottish League. Um, yeah, so we decided to, to relegate him to the under-23s. That made him a little bit unhappy, so he wanted to leave. So we just sold him. Uh, simple as that. James has been doing all right for us. The other change, a bit more recent, this one, is we went and got this defensive midfielder just to kind of bulk up our midfield. Jack Hunter was quite good, but he was starting to decline. So we decided to sell him. I think I'm right about that one. We did sell him. Not for much, but we sold him to Chester. In the um, midfield, we had to do a force change because Johnny Brown's loan was only for seven months. So we had to replace him. And for his place, we got Ian James, who's all right. Also a loony. He's not brilliant. He's still kind of developing, but he's all right as a backup. For the right of mid, uh, the actually we we didn't manage to make a change. I, I was going to make a change here, but I didn't. We did do a change in attack and in the left side of it, of attack as well. So, oops. Um, we went and got. This really good kid, Adam Beamish. A really great kid, still developing. Just a shame he's only with us on loan from Stoke. And we decided to, I think, ended up selling Patrick Yates. But I'm not actually sure about that. But we definitely relegated Patrick Yates to another um, youth team. And the 23's youth team. Patrick Yates, here he is. We haven't sold him. But he's still with us. Yeah, so he, he wasn't doing well for us at all, as you can see from the average rating here. Uh, but Adam Beamish is doing quite well for us. Another guy who wasn't doing well for us at all was uh, Kate, uh, Kieran Wakefield. We ended, up, we ended up just getting shot of him because he was so bad. Nine, nine appearances, no goals. Horrendous average rating. And because Osapo Song, our main striker, was needing a little bit of rest here and there, 
Uh, we actually needed a backup, backup striker, so I went and got hold of this young striker. He's got low self-belief, which isn't great, but I think if you can turn that around... Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have time to turn that around because he's only on a low knee, but he's, he's doing better as a backup. He still hasn't scored it, though. But yeah, it's, it's proving to be difficult to find a suitable backup player for um, Esapo Song. So that, that was all of our... Um, transfers. As far as the schedule goes, we'll have a look at that too. So we started the season quite well. We had a bit of a blip around about October um, and then we came back strong after the uh, after November, October. We did get kicked out of the FA Cup in the first round but we are doing quite well for the FA Trophy. We're still um, still going for it. We're going to have the semi-final with Spennymoor. We're going to have three games in a row in the same week with Spennymoor. Um, and then, hopefully, we can still reach the final. Which can be either against Sully Hall or Port Vale. All of us play for the Van Arma National League, so all roughly at the same level. Pen Spennymoor is in 8th at the moment. Sully Hall Moore is in ninth. Port Vale in 12th, and I'm the highest, we are the highest, we're in 5th at the moment. Now, next game match coming up is actually really, really tough. So, we're going to play the second placed, let's have a look at the table for a minute, second placed Grimsby. They are actually really good, I'm not sure we've ever won against them. And to add to that, we have three players on international duty, one player who needs resting, and a few other players that need a bit of a break. So we, I had to go and get a couple of players from the youth just to um, fill up the right side of the fence. So that's going to be leaky on that side. Um, playing some backup players at midfield. Also had to play a backup player for the right side of attack. And... Also playing Cami Ross as a backup because he needs a bit of a rest, that and Bimi. So I'm sort of sacrificing this match as a match I know I'm going to lose. But um, yeah, so I decided since I was going to have to go and get youth players, I'd sacrifice and give some rest to some of the other first team players as well. We have, we have a full house though. We now own the stadium as well. Finance-wise, we're not doing too well. We're starting to lose money every month. I think this month is an exception because we had some prize money. Um, but yeah, we do have a clause. So Kieran Tabbitt, the kid from our youth school who got um, snapped by Nottingham Forest, has a few clauses associated with that snap. One of them is a 15% transfer clause, a uh, profit on the next transfer. Uh, they previously offered to sell it to us for half a million and then it kind of went down to 400,000 then back up to nearly 600,000 and then they removed it all together and I thought oh maybe I lost the boat on that one but I the reason I didn't I didn't actually sell it was because I thought we could get more for it. So now they're offering us uh, just over 1 million to sell that clause to us and I'm still not convinced I'm going to sell it even though we knew we do need money at the club I think we can get more than that so part of me doesn't want to sell it just because oh that's a great strike by Suleiman um just because I think we can probably get one and a half two million if he does get sold um so I don't know if I want to sell it or not if we get desperate for money and they the options still available, I will sell it, but I think if we hold on to it, um, he's now classified as a promising fullback, uh, and he's been playing, we get, we are getting appearance um, payments, because he's been playing for them, for the league, um, so every, every time he plays we get 5k. Uh, so I'm not going to sell the transfer fee cause just because I think they will eventually sell him, and we will get that money. We will, we will get that. We will get more than they than they are offering. So we're doing really well this season, better than expected. I didn't expect to be in the playoffs, but it's nice to be there. 
um, we're currently as things stand six points away from the first the first team below the playoffs we're getting a beating here from Grimsley but that's okay so I think we can still make the playoffs I think um, providing that we don't all of a sudden start losing a load of games which I don't think we will uh, and there's also a chance that we'll get to play the final of the FA Trophy if we get through Spenny more. So that actually shouldn't be too hard for us to accomplish. Because we're kind of we're the better placed uh, team in the league. The only thing that could kind of bite us in the butt is the sort of thing that is biting us in the butt now, which is international duties. And uh, because we have such a busy calendar with all the competitions. Um, we, we we have to rest players and rotate players a lot more maybe than other teams. Uh, which means we don't have our top players available all the time. So, yeah. Now, looking at trans uh, substitutions here. I'm going to bring in a few players. Um, I suppose I could... Oh yeah, Ross hasn't played. Ross plays quite well at the striker position actually, so hopefully that will improve his performance. There's no uh, point tiring a sap or song because we're going to need him for the next match anyway, so getting him out. Sacrifice this match as a loss. Heavy loss, I wasn't expecting it to be <laughs> quite so bad, but um, yeah. So doing quite well. Overall, doing really well. Looking forward to the next season. Now, the thing with the next season is um, if we stay in this league, we can probably win it and then move on to the next league up. If we do get promoted, there's a chance we might be relegated straight away uh, just because our club has no money. I mean, I could get that 1 million clause, but... If we do get promoted, that's not going to be enough to solve our financial problems that we'll have. Um, there's a chance that if we do get promoted, that our club will become professional, and all of that comes with extra, extra cost, costs as well. Even though it has the benefit of better training. Um, so yeah, so we, we run the risk if we do, do get promoted this season that we will get relegated straight away next season and that will create some sort of financial problems for us. But uh, we'll, we'll sort that out when it comes to it. It's quite exciting though that we have a chance to get promoted here. Okay, so that is a lost game. Let's see what's next. Playing Woking. I need to rest some players. Everyone's getting super tired. Uh, I don't know actually. How far away is the transfer window? From oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, let's see what's out there. Okay, I'm not going to answer that question. Let's just see quickly. Run through everything. So the, I have some filters set up so that it, it it's a bit easier to navigate through, um, you know, what I'm looking for and what players are out there. So it's quite, it makes it quite easy for me to find players if there are any out there. Obviously, I know that it's a bit re regimented, so I know, I'm not looking. <laughs> there might be some players out there that I miss just because of, you know, tiny differences in... Um, skills and so on but I think overall is this is a quick system that produces some decent results right so just ha going at having a look through the filters just to see if anyone comes up and uh, if no one comes up comes up then I, I won't bother make putting any offers in you see that you see that we have a little bit of money left in the budget some of that is from 
those appearance clauses that we have um, from Kieran Tabbitt. He would have been a great player for us, but to be fair, it's probably better for him that he got snapped up. Uh, just because he's playing in a much higher league than what we would have been able to offer him for, you know, a couple, a few years. So, good for him. Quite happy about that. And he could be a little bit of a insurance policy for us as well. The fact that we can get that clause uh, sold in case we need it. Okay, so we have this player here. We can only get him on a loan, really. Um, not sure if it's worth it, but we'll, we'll ask. Uh, we can't afford him. And we can't buy him, so... I'm just going to offer zero, see what they say. Okay, so yeah, not worth it. Alright, moving on. Already have someone like that. That's fine. Um, I think when I was looking at defense, just going back one, I could. Oh, I did do that. Okay, fine. I think I did do that. Okay. Moving on, so right side of attack. Now this is a position that's been hard for us over the years to get some new players in, but we have managed now to find some new players this season. We were stuck with the same players for a while, um, for like four seasons I think, stuck with, stuck with the same players so couldn't really improve, but this year we did. Dylan's been quite good for us, Steven not so much. I saw the name of one of our ex-players there. Let's just have a look at him. So this is our player for this position last year. And he's now playing at Crawley. Two goals only. He's not doing so well with them. He was really good for us. He was our best best goal scorer, player of the season for us. And he became a club favoured personnel for the fans as well in the process. Take a look at Kieran Tabbitt as well in a bit, just to see how things are going for him. Now, um, let's do that now actually, because I know there's no one there for this up little song. Okay, so if we look at transfers clauses, so this is Kieran Tabbitt, the kid that we can get a million for if we want to. He's described as a promising fallback. He's got really good attributes, obviously his technical isn't as great as everything else, but that can develop, he's only 17. He's now played 17 matches for them. Qu quite good, 20 overall, 21 for the youth team. With one goal for the youth team. Yeah, he's doing quite well for them, so this is the reason why I think you could probably get some sort of sale for him. Also, he renewed his contract. He had a contract running out in, in 2028, but now his contract only runs out in 2029, which means he's renewed it. Um, so that's good. He'll be an insurance policy for a while, I think, if he keeps developing. Let's see if we can jump into another match. So no changes for us. Everything stays as is. I'm just going to have a quick look at the end of 23s to make sure there's no one there that I want to get rid of. Um, okay, so we've got a few offers for players, but those are in the youth team, I think. In the under-18s. So, 
probably not going to sell them. He's got a bid in, so he's probably going to go. I want to have a look at reports. Sort by potential, ability secondary, and age third. Let's select everybody except this guy and this guy. Let's see how many players we have. 22. Okay, so that's bang on what I usually have. Some of these will go just because we're going to have our youth intake not too long from now. In April, we're going to have a youth intake. And this year, it actually looked crap. In previous years, it looked really good. Actually, while we're talking about this, our youth team are gearing up to be champions this year. Again, for the second time. They're first placed, three points away from second placed. Um, so if, if they do if they do win, it's their second time being champions of that league. I'm going to reject these offers because I'll deal with youth transfers in the summer. Uh, blah de blah de blah. Okay, fine. He wants to leave. A lot of players want to leave, by the way, just because they're being a little bit the prima donnas and they want to play all the time blah 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 this guy doesn't want to leave like he's had offers from loads and loads of different clubs he doesn't want to leave and to be fair he's played like four six matches for us this season but he's been in the youth team the whole time just because we don't really need him only need him as a backup of the backup biggest spender and most players in fab Here we go, come on. Okay, we're gonna play against Walking if we can. This episode is gonna run, run over a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Another one that the offer is. Uh, he, want, he wanted a transfer and I gave him to him. Oh well, too bad. I need you, you're our main goalkeeper. So. Let's gear up for another match. Let's see now if we have some available players. He's still on international duty. But we do have Kieran. Um, here, I'm going to keep Kyle. I'm definitely going to keep James because Min turn isn't doing so well. You're tired, so we're going to put Elliot Johnson. You're tired, so we're going to put this guy, Cameron, I think his name is. Yep. Um, Ian James, I usually play with... Ooh, Ian James is doing better. Mm, okay, let's keep you. Uh, we're definitely going to get Dylan back for this. You can stay there. We can bring... Oh, he's tired as well. Mm. Let's think about maybe getting a youth player for that one. Um... No, I think I need to play Dylan just because I promised I would. Uh, I just need to give him a rest. Okay, just because I promised I would, and at the moment, if I do play him, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as far as not playing a Sapo song, um, because we're not in a critical sort of game. This isn't a critical game yet. Let me just bring up the first team as well. Okay, so for the left side we have these guys. I don't want to tie them out. I'm going to play. Oh, they say a sap or song can play there. I don't think he can, you know. But we can swap them around and then it works. Okay, I'm going to play a sap or song on the right. Uh, as far as the bench, we're going to bring. And strap. We need a central. Def Let me just remove that guy. Okay. We need some sort of central defender. So we're going to need him in. Uh, okay, that's covered. And that covers everything else. But he's not from the first team, so let's rethink this. Bradley. Um, and 
Kieran Ross. He's not Kieran, is he? What's his name? Cameron Ross? Okay, Cammy Ross. Okay, and then I think we've got all of the positions covered. We need to give him a rest, really, but... Mm. Let's look in the youth again. Who would be... Oh, yeah, this kid. Oh, he's tired. Okay. Mm. Hey, why not? Okay. Dion Holmes. Let's find them. Okay. And everything else. I think we're going to leave like that. Uh, we can get him in instead, I think. Okay, let's do it. Oh, sorry, just banged the mic. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. It's sort of a safe match because even if we don't get a positive result, we're still not going to drop off the um, um, playoff zone, so it's okay. We do need to rest some players because we we've had quite a few, a few intense weeks and we're only going to carry on having a few intense weeks again because we've got um, three games against Spennymore coming up. One of them for the league, two of them for the FA Trophy. We've got a penalty against us coming up. Ooh, complicated name. Will Hoffer nearly got it. Kevin Ihai Bantoyoman. Ihai Batyomhan. That's a cool name, even though I can't pronounce it like it okay so we've made our th things risky for ourselves because now we're only one point away from dropping off the relegation sorry dropping off the playoffs but that kind of makes things a little bit more exciting Ooh, nice play there support was songed with the assist and our uh, striker on loan Dylan Burnett with the goal. Nicely played. Unnecessary long pass. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Because the it's set up f so they can they play. They're meant to play short passes and work the ball into the box. But every now and then they seem to forget about that. What is the Sapo song doing on this side? Oh yeah, sure, he's playing on the right. That's, that makes sense. So what was he doing on the other side the other time? Strange. Anyway, here he goes. He doesn't usually play on this side, but he's doing all right, I think. Ooh, Hesketh with the goal. Hesketh is our main assist player. I think he's got, I don't know, over 10 assists already this season. Um, which is quite good for an attacking midfielder. I mean, his job is to kind of generate opportunities rather than scoring them. But he did score here. All oh, right, so no changes, I don't think, are needed. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. Glade is not doing too well. Beamish is going to come back. Sorry, the camera 
just gave up there. Um, okay, so yeah, we do have a go against us again, which means we're drawn back. For some reason, this if you if you haven't heard the explanation why the camera runs out, it seems to have like a half an hour timer, and it just decides to go to sleep after half hour, which is why I always try to make the episodes less than half hour. Ooh, a Sapo song is getting a red card or a double yellow. Double yellow. Okay. Um, nothing I'm gonna do about that. Not sure what to do about that, to be fair. He doesn't usually get red cards, I'm not sure why it come to that. He came to that. Could be a goal here. There we go. Even though we're only 10 on a pitch, we're still scoring goals. Fantastic. Oh. Come on. Oh yeah. Okay, offside. Nice. Phew. Because I just thought that's going to be horrible because Will Huffer could do nothing about that. Um, because you know he had he was completely committed to going at the front. Right, last two substitutions. Um. We definitely need to get you out because you've got a yellow card, but I'm not sure who to put in instead. I might do that. Oops. Um, and that. Oops. Keep doing that. Come on. And then put you here. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. Esquith goes there. Oh no, Esquith can stay there. That might. And you can go there. Okay, I think that works. Uh, and I think it will work better this way around. Um, and... We're gonna get Hanstrup in just to give Kieran a bit of a relief. Okay, here we go. Got counter attack. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Ross already has a yellow card and he only just came in. He's such a rough player. He always gets yellow cards and red cards and stuff. Nice. Assist. No! Okay, that was nearly a penalty. Which would be handy, but. Oh, God, he should have just shot. I don't know why he didn't take a shot. It's a bit weird, because we only have 10 players on the pitch. But we're still having a lot of highlights, which is good. I wasn't complaining. But the game obviously hurt me, and is now going to... Oh. This doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Come on, get rid of it. Oh. No. Ah, okay, fine, fine. Good, good, good. Careful there. Okay, Will Huffer is going to try. Kick it. Oh no, I thought he was going to kick it long, but obviously not. That's good. Oh god. So that, uh, I was just about to say, he was going to kick it long. Oh, he's disallowed. Um, so Hanstrup should have kept it that way, he should have kept it with short, simple passing. But sometimes they forget that that's the game plan. The game plan is short, simple passing to get the ball at the front. Uh, but they 
do kick it long sometimes, I don't know why. Right, we won this one against some pretty difficult odds because we got, you know, a sent off player and all kinds of things happening. We still have an issue with players needing some time off. Two goals from you, well done, sir. Redeeming yourself, you were kind of struggling at the start, but now you're starting to redeem yourself. Good, good. Good to see. And I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And make sure you catch up with the next episode where we're going to play the playoffs. I'm not probably not going to show you the last games of the season. I'm pretty confident we're going to make it to the playoffs. If we don't, obviously I'll show you the last game of the season. But if, um, if it's kind of confirmed early that we're just going to go straight into the playoffs, then I'll just come back with a playoff episode and we'll um, go through that. Don't forget to subscribe as well and check out the Patreon. Take care. Bye-bye.